At least once in your life, you've probably heard someone explain that if you start shaving somewhere new, the hair will grow back even thicker. And if you've ever, like, rubbed your hand across some rough stubble after a recent shave, you gotta understand why. But as far as scientists can tell, this is not a thing, even if our own experiences of battling body hair seem to say otherwise. Scientists have been looking into the connection between shaving and hair thickness since at least 1928, when a study had foremen repeatedly shave a certain certain part of their face. That experiment, along with other early shaving studies, concluded that shaving didn't make people more hairy. But they only measured the rate of hair growth, and not the thickness of the individual hair shafts. So in a later study from 1970, researchers had five men shave one leg every week for several months. The other leg was left ungroomed as the control. The team measured the diameter, density, and weight of the hair, as well as the rate of growth, and concluded that shaving shaving didn't make the hair grow back thicker. Other studies have had similar results, like one from 2006 that analyzed high-resolution photos taken with a microscope. Overall, studies consistently find that shaving doesn't make hair grow back faster or thicker, or make new hairs grow in the shaved area. Still, the belief that shaving thickens hair is remarkably common. Part of the reason might be that your first shaving experiences often overlap with a dramatic period of hormonal fluctuation in your life. If if you begin shaving regularly around puberty, your hair probably was growing in thicker over that time, but not because you were shaving. Another reason you might think the hair is thicker when it grows back is that over time, hair gets lighter from exposure to things like sunlight or chemical compounds. So the hair that grows back after a shave can look darker, but your cells aren't actually making hair with more pigment. Shaving also creates a bit of an illusion around hair shaft thickness. When you shave, you're not, like, yanking the whole hair shaft out of its follicle, you're slicing it off at the surface of the skin. It's like a blade of grass. When you let it grow naturally, it tapers at the end, and when you pass a lawnmower over it, you chop it off near the base and leave a thick, blunt end behind. The same thing happens with your hair. As it grows back after shaving it, it feels thicker and coarser because you've chopped it off at its thickest point and lost the softer, tapered end in the process. But as the hair continues to grow, wear and tear will eventually taper off the blunt end again. So while you might feel some doubt as you closely examine your stubble in the mirror a couple of days after your last shave, rest assured, you are not going to create a thick carpet of hair through your grooming habits, otherwise bald guys would shave their heads every dang day. It's your body's natural growth cycle that's making this call for you. Thank you to Patreon patrons Allison and Gwendolyn B for asking, and thanks to all of our patrons who suggest fascinating questions for us to answer. If you want to help support this show and get access to our patrons-only quick questions inbox, you can check out patreon.com slash scishow.